Hi, this is Matt with Fully Silent PCs. This time I'm testing the 0RPM HT3 fanless heatsink case. 0RPM is a Chinese brand whose products are available on the Chinese-only website Taobao. Google Translate helped me purchase one of these cases. The total cost with shipping to the United States is a little under $300, making it the least expensive fanless heatsink case that is designed to cool both a CPU and GPU. Zero RPM claims that the HT3 is able to cool 65 watt CPUs and 75 watt GPUs. I decided to use the mid-range Intel Core i5-9400 processor and the EVGA GeForce GTX 1650 XC graphics card. I also decided on the Gigabyte H370N Wi-Fi motherboard, 32GB of V-Color Skywalker, DDR4 2666 memory, a 500GB Crucial P1 NVMe solid state drive, and the Seasonic Prime 600 titanium fanless power supply. The Zero RPM HT3 fits in a niche with a few other options, including the HTPlex H5, Streetcom DB4, and Monster Labo First. What sets the HT3 apart is its lower price, relatively small size, and support for ATX power supplies. The HT3 supports Intel CPUs, mini ITX motherboards, and up to two 2.5 inch SSDs. Its dimensions are 10.9 inches wide, 9.3 inches deep, and 6.7 inches tall. Its front plate includes a single USB 2.0 port and a power button. Installation was a little tricky, but really quick once I figured it out. I used my standard testing procedure here, with half an hour of Prime95's torture test and half an hour of Firmark. With the initial installation and no changes to any settings, the i5 began throttling itself after 10 minutes, and the 1650 began throttling after 5 minutes. This was not looking good. The case was shipped with the heat pipes pre-installed, and I suspected that the thermal paste was not good quality or not applied very well. I completely disassembled the heat pipes and reassembled them with a thermal paste that I know should work well, Z5 from Deepcool. The second round of tests had basically the same results, with the CPU and GPU throttling after 11 minutes and 4 minutes respectively. There was only one thing left to do, lower the power limits to the CPU and GPU. The i5's power limits were reduced in UEFI to 75 watts. The 1650's power limit was reduced to 75 watts as well using EVGA's Precision X1 software. NVIDIA specifies the 1650's maximum temperature to be 92 degrees C, so the throttling point was increased from EVGA's 85 degrees to get a better sense of what the actual limit is. With the 75 watt power limits in place, I was finally able to complete the tests without any throttling. The i5 reached a maximum of 95 degrees, 5 degrees below its throttling point, and the 1650 reached a maximum of 90 degrees, 2 degrees below its throttling point. The 0RPM's limits were found. It did not perform quite as well as I had hoped, but it did meet its advertised power ratings of 65 watts and 75 watts. I think the initial failure says something about Gigabyte and EVGA's practices of allowing the CPU and GPU to boost significantly past their thermal design powers. When limited to their TDPs, the CPU and GPU were okay for the zero RPM case. The HT3 certainly could be better though. The heat sinks that form the walls of the case are large enough to dissipate more than 75 watts. They also did not heat up as much as most other heat sink cases would. This tells me that the heat from the CPU and GPU was not being efficiently transferred to the walls of the case. The HT3 uses two heat pipes for the CPU and two heat pipes for the GPU. HTPlex and Streetcom use between four and eight heat pipes for each component. Additionally, the heat pipes on the GPU side of the HT3 are basically upside down. One end of a heat pipe is an evaporator and the other end is a condenser. Heat pipes work best when the condenser is above the evaporator. This allows gravity to help move the fluid back to the evaporator. 
This effect is lost with the HT3's GPU heat pipes, which have the evaporator above the condenser. I tested this by flipping the case upside down. The effect was not huge, but the maximum temperature at 75 watts dropped from 90 degrees to 85 degrees for a 5 degree difference. If you are interested in a low to mid power fanless PC with a discrete GPU, the 0RPM HT3 could be a good choice. As long as you know what its limits are, basically 75 watts, you can save some money with this versus some of the other options on the market. It is now also being offered as a pre-built PC with power limits applied at FullySilentPCs.com. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more fanless PC content.